I got another package. Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to unboxing the FNAF Security Breach merchandise before the game's even out. Heck, before the trailer is even out. Heck, before we have any gameplay screenshots. Yeah, so yesterday, if you missed it, I reviewed the FNAF Security Breach action figures by Funko. And today, I will be unboxing and reviewing, get this, the official FNAF Security Breach poster by Trends. By the way, I saw a few people saying, Oh, but you're betraying Scott by purchasing the the merchandise before the game's even out yet. It's not my fault that I have these things. It's the third party merchandise companies. And a little bit of Scott and Stillwall because maybe there was some delay with the game and it was supposed to release around this time, but they delayed it for an unknown reason. I don't know what's going on over there, but it's not my fault that I have these things, okay? Plus, this channel is a news and update channel, so I kind of have to review these things, you know? As far as I'm aware, not many people have the poster, so I'm going to be doing a very, very thorough job of reviewing this thing. And of course, we can't review it without first unboxing it. So, just like yesterday, I have my trusty knife right here, and let's open this thing. Let's all smash the like at the same time. 3, 2, 1, go 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 go. Also smash the subscribe button because Johnny Blocks is reviewing the Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Funko Mystery Minis and Five Nights at Freddy's AR Special Delivery Arcade Mayhem merch very soon. Ooh, that cut smooth. Okay, so the box has been emptied out and the poster is right here, boys. I am super, super excited for this. Right off the bat, I can already see Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach on it, so, oh, boys. Let's, let's, let's get it open. Let's get this thing out of its package. Not package, the plastic, whatever. Ugh, I did it. Look at this. Oh, it's about to unfold. Oh my God, this is so cool. This is so cool. All right, I'm gonna open this up unfold it, whatever. I can already see some characters. Oh, this is so, this is so cool. So just to let you all know, this is a 22.375 inch by 34 inch poster. So it is a pretty decently sized poster as you can see already. And I haven't even opened it up fully yet. So I'm gonna try and get that done. Ooh, I can see security go. All right. Oh my God, this is so big. Look at that. You can't see much of it, but oh my god, that's so cool. Oh, this is so cool. I probably should have said this sooner, but if you've already clicked on this video and you've gotten this far, I'm guessing you do want to see the full designs of these characters. I managed to lay out the poster completely flat. I'm using the Fazbear Fright books to hold it in place. But just in case for some reason you clicked on this video and you don't want to see the poster and you don't want to see the full designs of the characters on the poster, I highly recommend clicking away right now if you haven't already. So this is your final warning. Three, two, one. I'm about to show the poster. Here we go. So this is the official poster. Again, I managed to lie it out completely flat on my carpet floor. It's being held down by the four Fazbear Freud books we have so far. And wow, I mean, it's so weird to finally see this poster because it is the background for my phone and my desktop. So just having it in real life at this moment it's kind of crazy. So, okay, let's focus on the characters. We have Security Girl front and center. She has her flashlight. She, for some reason, has lost her cap. I don't know if we will ever figure out why she's not wearing her hat in this poster, but she is wearing it in her teaser. It's a little bit weird. Then we have the four Glamrock characters behind her. We have Glamrock Freddy, Roxanne, Montgomery, and Glamrock Chica. So before this poster came out, we didn't really know what Glamrock Chica looked like besides her Funko action figure, which again, I did unbox and review yesterday. So this was our first good look at what she looks like besides, again, the Funko action figure, and she looks really cool. And I can say that about all of the Glamrock characters. Again, I talked about this in my video yesterday, but I personally really, really love the designs of these new characters. I love the face paint, I love the colors that they're going for, I love the instruments that they all have. The only complaint I have about this poster, and really everything that we've seen about the Glamrock animatronics up until this point in time, is that they don't really seem like animatronics. And I know that sounds a bit weird because, you know, these are the FNAF animatronics, they are robots in the game, but I don't know, it's just something about this game and the way that they've been shown 
it just, it doesn't give me a good animatronic vibe. Now, of course, I'm sure that's going to change in the game. I'm sure they will definitely have a more robotic appearance in the game. They are just turning them into more human-like characters for medias. You know, to have on posters and calendars and other stuff like that. And then, of course, in the top left, we have Vanessa herself wielding, of course, her stabby stabby knife that she will most likely use to murder kids. So because we have already done kind of a deep insight on this poster, there's not really much to talk about now that we have it in real life, you know? Like, we've talked about the character designs, we've talked about what location they could be in. Obviously, they are most likely in the mall in this poster, but where in the mall? Uh, they could be on the show stage, they could be in an arcade, they could be in the cinema, there are so many rooms. They could be in the Forty Fazbear's Pizza that's in the mall, but most likely I think they are on the main stage that is in the center of the mall. We can see in the background some neon stars and lights. So I think it's pretty safe to say that they are on the stage in the center of the mall. Again, I love the designs of these characters, especially on this poster, and just having it in real life right now is really, really freaking cool. Freddy is holding his microphone, he has his fist in the air, he's ready to rock and roll. Roxanne has her keytar, which I remember the name of it this time. And then Glamrock Chica and Monty have their guitars. So now that we've had a look at the poster itself, I'm gonna hang it up on my wall right there. If you've seen my FNAF AR videos, usually that's where my FNAF group poster is, but I moved it to over there. Maybe I'll show it. I moved it to right over there near the TV. So yeah, that's where that is now. And I'm gonna put the new poster where that poster used to be, right there. So I'm gonna do that and I'll get back to you when it's done. Okay, so instead of just popping up a picture on the screen, I'm gonna do a recording for you all so we can actually get up and close with the characters. So this is the whole poster, and I mentioned the length and width earlier, but I believe it's 22 inches by 34 inches, so again, it's a decently sized poster. I tried pointing my lights over to the poster so we could get a very, very good shot of it, and I think it worked pretty well. As you can see, there's no glare on it, and this is the poster. In full. So again, we have Vanny up in the top left next to her, Glamrock Chica, Montgomery the Alligator over near the top right. Below him, we got Roxanne the Wolf, Security Girl front and center again, and then the man himself, Glamrock Freddy. Details are incredible on this poster, and also it's very smooth. I don't think I mentioned that, but this poster is really smooth for some reason, and I love it a lot. I'm just getting a good panning zoom of the post right here for everyone who wants to see it. Almost at the bottom, there's all the copyright stuff down there, and then the name. If I'm shaking during this video, it's because it's actually very, very hot in here because I was recording a video before this, so my lights have been on for a very, very long time. So, sorry about that. I just noticed this, but is that... What, what is, is that water? Is that, is that cum? Anyways, yeah, this is the entirety of the poster. Again, very, very detailed. Look at Chica's face right there. Montgomery's face right here. You can see his red eyes below his glasses. Vanny as well. Glamrock Freddy. I know I'm taking a long time on this video, but I think it's very important that I do this because again, I didn't see many videos on the poster, at least. Not many people have the poster at this moment in time, so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna take my time, I'm gonna show every bit and piece, just so everyone has a chance to fully view this poster as a whole, and there it is. So that is the Security Breach poster. Again, don't get mad at me that I have it, as well as the action figures. It's not my fault that I have these products. I mentioned this earlier, but if Scott and Steerwall, as well as the third-party merchandise companies Funko and Trends did a better job, you know, with release dates for everything, I think, you know, these wouldn't have been released as early as they were. I'm not trying to be mean to anyone, Scott, Steerwall, Funko, Trends. I think if Scott and Steerwall did a better job of organizing the release date for this game, this probably wouldn't have happened. But at the same time, I don't think Trends and Funko should have leaked all this stuff and at the same time released it as early as they did but then again they were given a release date by scott and Stewart, and they kind of do have to stick by that release date so poetically it's kind of everyone's fault and no one's fault at the same time i think the release date for this game and the release date for this merch has been very confusing for everyone including 
us, Scott, Stillwell, Trends, Funko, everyone. So I think there are a lot of people at fault, but at the same time, there was really nothing that anyone could do to prevent this. So yeah, that was the poster. Thank you everyone so much for watching this video. And if you missed it, again, I did review and unbox the Funko action figures yesterday. So if you missed that, it's linked down below. It's also probably gonna be a pinned comment. So go check it out if you missed that. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.